What's going on, fellas? Uh, today, I just got back from filming my secondary pressing session. Uh, you will notice that this looks very similar to a workout I posted about a week ago because it's the same workout and I just did slightly more weight. Uh, so started out with the overhead press against bands. Before this, I did my 10-minute walk on the treadmill to raise my body temperature. Uh, I did four rounds of kind of a giant set of uh, dumbbell over standing dumbbell overhead press, um, so warming up the primary movers, um, lat pulldowns to warm up the antagonistic musculature, uh, as well as I did a little bit of T-spine mobility in that three kind of movement rotation just to get my general prep on. It took me about five minutes to get through the four rounds. Uh, and then I moved on to working my way up with specific warm-ups, aka uh, just lighter, lighter weights, going to heavier weights on the motion that I'm doing. Um, here is 300 pounds for, I was aiming for three, Messed up my technique pretty good. Pressed the bar out in front of me, as I'm sure you can see here. Ended up failing the third. Um, normally, I would probably try that over and over again until I got it, knowing it was a technical miss. But, you know, being only my second pressing of the uh, pressing of the week, knowing I have to go heavy again to end the week, and knowing that my pressing is going quite well right now, I decided I wouldn't bang myself up. Just kind of bonk myself in the head, say, man, don't fuck that up again. Uh, and keep keep on keeping on, right? Moved on to my antagonistic vertical pull here, uh, doing the neutral mag grip because I generally like that one as I can get my biceps out of the pull to some degree. Uh, ended up hitting four working sets of eight reps with ascending weight here. Um, and then I moved on to my primary horizontal press, which today was Larson press. If you guys remember, last week I hit 405 for a very easy triple, which was the, maybe the most I've ever done for reps on Larson Press. I have not done it in quite a while. Um, I was scheduled to hit a triple again this week, so I decided I was going to warm my way up, put a little extra weight on the bar. Uh, Warm-ups were feeling not great. Uh, they didn't feel super strong, didn't feel like they were moving very fast, and my pecs felt, um, I don't know if under-recovered or just tight is the right word. I don't mess around with pec strain, so I eased my way up there as far as the weight, uh, taking my time, taking smaller jumps, repeating weights if I need to to try to get warm. Um, and all in all, I didn't feel very strong until I looked at the video and I noticed, I'm like, hey, these are moving a lot better than they feel. I'm sure a lot of this is psychological, but I'm going to keep that in mind. Instead of attempting the 430 for three that I was planning on today, I will be wise and I will do like 420 for three, which is what I ended up hitting. Here is my last warm up at 375 for a triple. Um, this felt not great. As you can see, it moved just fine. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do the 420. I just get pumped up a little bit. Ended up moving totally fine, all in my head for the most part, but I'm glad I didn't put more weight on there. Uh, as I do perceive that my risk of tweaking my pec might've been a little elevated today. Got in some good work there. New all-time PR triple on the Larson press. Uh, moved on to my antagonistic motion where, as you can see, I didn't even get myself in the frame. So here is my feet and beautiful hands doing some, uh, some rowing, again on the neutral grip mag handle. Um, been having fun with these. And then to end the session, I did a couple of working sets of triceps. Today I decided I would do overhead triceps as I did last week. Uh, hit a plate for, I think, 26 reps today. Not really sure what this specific easy curl bar weighs, so I cannot tell you what the total weight is. All I know is that this is a plate per side for 26. Gonna slap some more weight on there next week and try to get 26 or more reps. Uh, Generally speaking, these are kind of, I have a love-hate relationship with these because they've always worked quite well for me, um, but they're also the one thing that can aggravate my, uh, my elbows a little bit. So taking it easy, wearing my elbow uh, sleeves, and here's the stuff I didn't show you. I hit some curls towards the end just for fun, and then I did my external shoulder rotations and wrapped up the day. Thank you guys for watching my videos as always. It means a lot to me. Uh, appreciate y'all.